How's it going, y'all? Uh, this one is on what is meant to be. <clears throat> so, uh, knowing what is meant to be. And um, before I go any further, I just want to say, uh, meant to be what? What is it meant to be? What Meant to be what? You gotta finish the statement. Meant to be what? Um, so, what does something mean to you? Will it last? Uh, does it fulfill a purpose? Is it meant to be something else? Um, everything is an intention to learn to become. Um, simplify what something is. Maybe you don't need it. Things always change. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing is identical. Only compatible. So those are that's what we're talking about on this podcast here. So... Um, what is meant to be? What meant to be? What you got to finish the statement. Um, so, what does something mean to you? Will it last? So, not everything is meant to be. Um, if everything is meant to be, then it's meant to be something else. You know, everything is um, like temporary. Nothing is really permanent because things things always change. Things are always changing. I don't know anything that stays. I don't know anything that stays the same forever, um, because life. Focus. Everything that everything that lives grows, and dies or changes form. Um, so, what does it mean to you, um, and how long will it last? Will it last? What what does what is something that. Whatever, what, whatever something mean, what, what it is, what, 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 what does something mean to you? What, what does it mean to you? And um, how long do you want it? How long do you want it to last? Um, so uh, that will determine, you know, what, what it means to you. What is meant to be with it? Like, what, what do you want it to be? What do you want it to mean? Like, for a specific amount of time for your in your life. What do you want to learn? What do you want to learn from 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 what it means? And when if when you when you when you when it does mean something to you, then uh, it will fulfill a purpose, uh, and then you'll go on to something else. Um, does it fulfill a purpose? Is it meant to be something else? Is it meant to be this for this period of time, or is it is this only happening to get to here? And that's, that's, that's progress. That's the process. Everything becomes something greater, like a, a reality and stuff like that. <laughs> the bigger picture. So, um, everything is an intention to learn, to become. So, uh, everything that happens, happens for a reason as an intention to learn. Um, so you can avoid it, you can deny it, you can accept it, you can work with it. And uh, some, some things, some, the things that you deny and avoid <clears throat> are, um, are like things that probably are very profound teaching very very hard lessons to learn like for me um dealing with the dualism and you know the yin, the yin and the yang the positive and the negative like i'm i'm progressing with all this um for me i always want things to be positive but it's like you can't you can't gain without a loss and you can't lose without a gain every time you gain something you lose something every time you lose something you gain something it's like the opposite it's like magnetism magnetism you know opposites attract you know no matter what you're doing an opposite is always going to be attracted um and these are just like laws of like physics and nature and stuff like that um so um Dealing with the good, the bad, the positive, the negative, um, the love and the fear, you know, for me, 
Um, I'm just kind of getting used to it instead of trying to extinguish it. Instead of over um, overpowering it or something like just being resilient and knowing my balance or something like that. So um, it's funny because every time I got things going real well, then it's like out of nowhere, just some issue will happen. I'm like, where does, where, why did, what? It's coming out of nowhere. Um, but like, that's, that's just like the, the, the opposite being attracted. That's just like the, the yin and the yang, the balance. Um, the light and the darkness or something like that, so, um, and I'm still learning about what it means, at least for me, what it means to me, what does negative mean to me, and literally, it, does, it doesn't mean, like, anything to me, it literally means, like, I don't know, I don't know what negative means to me, I guess, I guess I'm still learning that. These, that's why it's always like a very profound lesson. Like, I don't know what negative means. I know that negative doesn't really mean anything to me. Every time I have to deal with it, I'm, I'm literally like, I don't want to deal with it. This is stupid. This is a waste of time. Um, but uh, I think it has something to do with um, basically the bigger picture of um, what the collective, what humanity is doing, you know, how many people need to learn for instance. So it's like kind of like my opportunity to contribute to an advancement or an improvement. Um, I'm not sure if the overall goal is to just be like positive bliss. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like the dualism is very hard to conceive, like why there's a dualism. And, and, um, uh, this is how it is on Earth, I guess. It's probably somewhere different in another galaxy or another planet or species, but um, it could be universal. Everything has positive and negative. Um, but that's the thing. Like, you can't gain without a loss. You can't loss without a gain. So just gain is positive, negative is, is loss. So every time you go negative you contract, which leaves more room for expansion, which would be positive. Every time you gain, you expand, um, which would somehow need to contract, or um, you, know, you, you lose, when you lose a lot of, um, when you gain, um, I guess you lose a lot. Um, of stuff you don't need so you have a lot of more gain and once you get to the point of where you don't need the gain because you're moving on you're losing you're constantly losing stuff you don't need which will lead to more more gain once you contract and stuff if that makes any sense um, and when you lose everything then you'll gain more and when you gain you'll, you'll lose what you don't need so yeah uh, process something like that um, so everything is intention to learn to become so everything becomes something just like as you grow you age and you become wiser more mature better improve all that nicer loving or the negative spectrum you know um, but you become something and I think everything happens for the better so um, despite every everything that is a waste of time seems like a waste of time there's always some expansion going on and some type of progression I just think there's too many people to get it all at once and there's always new younger people and ignorant not ignorant but like innocent ignorance you know like just being young and uneducated it's just a growing process like uh perspective so as long like you're, you're always having to teach stuff um to the to the lesser and you're always having to learn too 
um, unless there's someone who's super advanced, like, you know, like if there's God or something, and or a spirit guide or something, but I don't even think they know everything, so they're still learning too. But there are in different dimensions, and you're in different dimensions, just different perspectives going on that, um, literally it's becoming, it's always becoming something. Um, so simplify what something is, maybe you don't need it. Simplify what something is. Um, I know before I, like when I want something, I'm literally like, I'll give it some time to, to see if I really need it. Um, sometimes I'll make a huge list of like everything I want to get. And then I'll, just, I'll go through and I'll be like, do I really need this? What would I do if I had this? And say, I don't want to do that. No, I don't need that. I don't want to waste my money. I don't want to waste my time. I'm not going to use it. So simplifying things is a way of losing and gaining um, without much you know, risk. But you, it's a precaution so you don't put yourself in a position that you don't need to get in. So simplifying, um, maybe you don't need it. You don't need everything. You know, the, the universe wastes nothing. So um, neither should you, you know, so. And things always change, nothing lasts forever. So things always change, nothing lasts forever. That's, that's definitely true. Um, I know that, you know, 10, 20 years ago, things were not the same. There are, still are some people out there that still stay the same because they just cannot grow. Like, I don't know what they're doing. But all I know is that space and time changes and allows, allows um, things to grow um, um, and progress. So if you can't solve a problem... If, if, if you're dealing with someone that won't change or grow and it's really getting in your way, just use space and time. Like, give yourself space and time and do not, like, don't even try to improve them. Let, let space and time handle it. Let, let age handle things. Let time handle things. Um, I know that it's getting away from a certain area. I don't have to deal with that anymore. That's space and time right there. Like, I've, I've moved, like, I'm not at the same place I was, you know, 10, 20 years ago. Um, and that's improved my life. Um, there's still problems I deal with, but they're basically like the same type of problems. And that's, that's basically the same negativity, the same type of attitude, the same, um, the same perspective that they have, um, and I can tell you every day I get farther away and I don't, I, I don't have to deal with them. Like I'm trying to figure out how I got in so much trouble with these people and how they, how they know who I am and why they want to know me and why they want to treat me like this. And um, I don't know why other than they create drama they they imagine things and they look for trouble so this is like a re repetitive thing they do and this seems to be going on like every, with a lot of a lot of people just repeating problems um and going nowhere like never never changing never evolving like um you know they they say people don't change you know like they they might not as as their center, like their center, I think, I think your center grows. Like if you don't change, then you're screwed. If you don't never change your mind, you're, you're lousy. Um, there's some things you might not want to change your mind for, but you can always change your mind to evolve and grow. It doesn't mean you need to like give it up or not, not completely give it up, but learn more and be more educated. That's what I mean by changing your mind. Don't be stuck on one idea the rest of your life. Like being self-centered leads to selfish selfishness selfishness and self-entitlement and just straight up ignorant stupidity is, is never change having never changing your mind. That's hard headed. That's hard headed shit. And that's hard to live with. And that's kind of what I have to deal with. Is a bunch of hard headed shit. 
Um, and I'm still coping with it. I'm still like getting away from it. My main objective is to get away from it and not even deal with it. Um, or like what I mean by not deal with it is literally try to not affect anything with it. Because if I try to gain with it, I feel like if I help them out, they'll get more powerful with, with their freeloading and hatred and antagonism. But if I don't do anything, then they'll feel deprived, which they're already deprived. But it's like, if I help them grow, they're literally not there. They're not like solid. They're not, they're not grounded enough to handle change because they haven't changed for decades or years, like their whole life. And when, when, you, when someone's asking them and, and helping them change, their, their mental, their process, they can't process stuff like that because they're so underdeveloped. They're so lacking in the whole development world and changing. Something they can't do. Um, so things always change, nothing lasts forever. Nothing is identical, only compatible. So, um, things, things are not, nothing in this, I don't think anything is identical in this universe. If you think about snowflakes, nothing, no one snowflake is identical. You know how many millennium, you know how many millennium years and centuries and snows and how many snowflakes there are and nothing, none of them are identical? It that just like proves that life is a very creative like structure that everything is always creative and you know what that's how i i'm on that process i'm on that thinking process i'm on that that creative ability when i make music like when i drum like i don't like to make anything the same as the last i'm always doing a new a new rhythm a new a new thing and I always, uh, always stay creative. I don't like. I don't ever think about repeating anything. I know what I've done, so there's like, uh, there's no point in, in redoing something. So I want to just do something new. So nothing is identical, only compatible. Um, when I think about identical, um, I think about like sheep people. I think about like all the people out there that want to fit in and create this reality, this this um, way to fit in and exclude and dismiss everyone else that they don't want, that they're not compatible with, that they don't want to be compatible, that they, they don't want any compatibility going on with them. Um, and um, they literally are like identical clone people. They all like succumb to a very low negative energy and repeat things which is like you know stuff i deal with like this is like some of my problems is dealing with this repetitive ignorance and the uh, identical clone um copy follow shit um and that's literally hard to be compatible with um unless you're like one of them and you when you want to be like that but uh that shows that you know like um, they're still not identical, you know, they're just kind of like fitting in this, this, this frame. Um, but yeah, it's just like nothing is identical. So don't worry about anything, um, directly contradicting your identity, um, when it comes to being copied or mirrored or reflected or, or gaslighted or um, scapegoated or any type of like thing that makes you feel like someone is the exact same as you. Um, and if they are close to being like you, that's just compatible. Like you are very compatible with an individual. On, on the positive side, on the negative side, people want to make you feel like you're, you're just like them. That there is nothing else, that this is all there is. You know, front, back, black, white, same, all, 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 all the same, all the same color, nothing, nothing transparent. You, there's, you are, there's nothing else. You are just like them. You are the same exact. But that's such nonsense. Um, that just that shows very low compatible compatibility like skills. Um, it's literally just being like, yeah, man, I just fit in, we're all the same, join the crew, you know. 
Um, and that's very adolescent, like, you know, this just reminds me of high school. Um, or college, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, nothing's identical. So don't worry about um, trying to be like someone. Um, just try to be compatible. And if it's not compatible, don't worry about it. You're going to grow something to become of something. So I hope this helps what, what it's meant to be. You know, when people say, you know, it's, it's meant to be, then it's meant to be something. It's meant to be something. It's meant to become something. Um, because, you know, life is always progressive. Nothing stays the same. Time always moves on. You know, there's no such, there's no such thing as time in the spiritual plane, in the, in the spiritual world, spiritual dimension. Um, the only thing that makes time existed is, is your lifespan and your physical body. And um, everything is just a progression. Um, so if it's meant to be, then you are going to live something. You're going to go through a process that is life. You are, you are existent. You have energy. You are living. You are breathing. You are solving problems. You are living. You are learning. That is what being is. Meant to be, be calm. So don't think that, you know, something is just going to sit there and stay like that forever. Like it's meant to be like that. Um, things, it, it, might, it might be for a very short time. Depends how much time you spend on, on it before you learn it. Or if you don't want it and need it. You know. So I hope you guys enjoy this podcast. And I'll see you next time.